Hello everyone. Let's begin next session. And I'm sure, thank you so much for your warm response. Number of the years, they said, ma'am, when you are going to upload next video. And uh, I'm sure they have already downloaded the software and now they are doing calculation on with the help of the software. That's the good thing. Our researchers are working. And uh, thanks for lots of comments I have received. Um, thank you so much for your warm response. Thanks a lot. So shall we now continue this thing? Uh, first is t-test again. Now we will apply on our one sample. Let's say we are going to take this one is the two group sample intercept. Two dependent means right match pairs. So this one is again priori. And let me increase a little bit size. So that could be visibility more. And here is priori compute required sample size given alpha power and effect size. And this is the we will click on two. So here is effect size 0 0.5, alpha error 0 0.05 and power one minus beta 0 0.95. Now I want to calculate what should be sample size. Let me, I had calculated, you can see here 0 0.95 actual power, sample size is 54, degree of freedom 53. At this, uh, because when effect size is 0 0.5 and power is 1 minus beta 0 0.95. And you can see here, this is the beautiful curve is here. Now, I would like to drop this value rather than 0 0.5, I would like to give 0 0.2, right? And alpha error is same and power is one minus beta is also same. Now, what could be sample size? Let me calculate. Now you can see there's a drastical change in the sample size and total sample size is now 327. Earlier it was, uh, we can check, we can compare the previous one, 0 0.5. And when we had calculated, it was 54. And when we did it, it was 0 0.25. Now you can see we can calculate 3 to 7. Now, on the same effect size, let's say I would like to reduce this power 1 minus beta. That is standard one is 0 0.8. 0 0.8, right? That means 80%, right? 0 0.8. And now we want to calculate. So now you can see effect size when 0 0.2, alpha error is 0 0.05 and power 1 minus beta means 0 0.8. And then at this, when the, these are the values of my um, effect size and power, what should be the total sample size is 199 and actual power is 0 0.801. Right. And when the, we have taken power is 1 minus beta 0 0.8, but let's say effect size, I'm putting up 0 0.5. So what should be the sample size? You can see only effect sample size is 4. Effect size is 0 0.5 and power is 0 0.8. Right. And same way, you have to click here, x, y, and you can uh, draw a plot also. Now you can see here, let me is already drawn here. Now, what we have to do, let me take one of the, this is a priori, let me take post hoc, right? Let me take post hoc, you can say post hoc. When we had already taken sample, we had analyzed it, and now simply we want to check power of test, right? So how we have to do check, let me, this is my, I had opened up this one is the same file I had uh, already recorded a video and I had already uploaded this video or uh, how we have to calculate uh, independent uh, t test and this is the same example mines one is the let me show you one means those are the private owned mines two means government owned mines I want to compare right both these sample size whether there is any output difference i mean those are the workers working under private owners and those are workers working under the government owners so there is any difference i would like to check so what i will do simply i would like to analyze compare means and here is you can see independent sample t test and reset it output is uh, i want to check output 
and output depends upon these are the two groups grouping variables define groups let me give one and let me uh, here is i would define two so now i would press okay now this is the output you can see and here is the private owned mines 20 and government owned mines 24 and this is the mean 42.5 by 39.13 corresponding means and standard deviations are 5.4 and 2.7 so let me put all these values in by g software right so what i will do uh, what i will do here is means difference between no these are the entirely two independent samples i had clicked on it and not priory i will take post hoc because already i simply i have already taken sample i had already calculated and uh, i had already done analysis so i just want to check whether these two these things are i mean uh, i would like to check power of i mean power of test so simply i would press two right here is two tail effect size and and all right 50 50 sample size no so let me i will define here what is the mean group one first group is if i am not wrong is 20 another group is 24 right i i had already calculated and now let me check what is the standard deviation 5.4 and 2.7 so i will put these values 5.4 4 and 2.7 group 1 standard deviation is 5.4 and 2.7 2.7 let me bigger this size right 5.4 and 2.7 so i want to calculate right and here is also we will change this group samples also here is this one is uh, 20 and group 2 is 24 right so what i have to do i want to calculate effect size calculate 0 0.93 and calculate and transfer to main window when i clicked on it you can see here this value is already transferred here 0 0.9369712 right and as i had i had already said d 0 0.20 is a small 0 0.50 medium 0 0.80 is large and now i want to calculate you can see here power of test is 0 0.85 and degree of freedom 42 right and critical d and this one is the all the values are reflecting here right so you can see here we can check post hoc also what is the somebody can ask you you had already done let's say let's say somebody will ask your examiner will ask what is your power of test at this sample size so simply you have to calculate through this software and you can report in your thesis this is my power of test right and uh, it you can also justify this power of test and uh, simply when we talk about this, uh, let's say uh, mean difference from constant one sample case, one sample case also you can take it. Let's say one sample case and not post hoc. I don't want post hoc because I haven't calculated one way and over and all these things you can do. Let's say priority, I want before starting any research analysis, I want to know. So effect size is this and 0 0.05, 0 0.95, simply I want to calculate. So here is we will close this window so you can see here and this 0 0.95 is actual power and 45 is total sample size and this and now when we have to drop this value 0 0.2 only right when we will drop and let's say it would again right that would be two tail and 0 0.5 0 0.95 then we have to calculate 0 0.95 so we require 327 total sample size and when we talk about let's say that would be standard 0 0.8 0 0.8 and now we want to calculate this value right so simply you can see 199 0 0.80 so i'm sure um in the next video we will calculate and simply what you have to do you have to simply copy copy plot to clipboard and you have you you can paste it on your wherever you want to report this so you can simply i want on this slide so simply i can paste right this is my figure and this is these this is my curve and simply i will paste it here
right? And you can report in your thesis also. So I'm sure this video would be helpful to you and you can easily calculate all this sample size. And definitely in the next video, I'm going to tell you some more tests, right? There are lots of scope through G power and we will discuss some more tests. Thank you so much. Keep watching.